guys and welcome to another video um i know i haven't put one out in a little bit i had a back injury um so i, I years ago i herniated a disc in my back uh and then i i recently re-injured it so i haven't been doing videos because i can't sit up this is the first day i'm actually back at the computer uh and i've been here for two and a half hours and i'm i'm in so much pain i'm gonna be doing this video and i'm done so anyways, the title of this video is Remove Reflect Damage. Now, you can take that as two different meanings, um, and I'm sure a lot of people are getting pulled in here, and they're going to be like, this was clickbait, uh, because they think this is going to be explaining how to remove uh, you getting affected by reflect damage. And that's not what this video is about. This video is about a couple of things, actually, uh, and we're going to start with reflect damage. Reflect damage is something that I think modern ARPGs use because other ones have used it and they feel that they need to carry it over. Um, and I strongly feel that reflect damage enemies. Uh, so when you hit an enemy, you get reflected and take that damage um, is something that is not well utilized and should just get dropped. It's something that I think very, very strongly um, is not a way to make the game more difficult, except uh, it, what it does is make the game more frustrating. I am someone who loves difficulty. Um, when Solo Descent Raids were released, the first time I walked in there as a super tanky character and got one shot, I was like, Fuck yes, I love this. I love the new hard mode. It fucking destroys me and it's so good. I love it. Reflect damage doesn't make it difficult. It makes it impossible or you have to have specialized gear or change Zodiac points. And I don't feel like it is a mechanic that is should be carried on. It's I really, really strongly feel like it shouldn't be carried on. Um, now, obviously, everybody's going to have different opinions, but I think on this topic, I don't think I'm going to get any pushback from anyone saying, well, no, it's an integral part to the game. And it's I don't know anyone that doesn't just straight up hate reflect damage. It is a bad mechanic across the board. Now, character reflect, totally different story. I would love to work more closely with reflect damage and build a really good reflect build. There's some cool uniques in the game and stuff, but when it comes to adding reflect damage on chaos maps, it is not something that should continue. It's, it's an antiquated thing that's been carried over and it should not be part of the game. In my opinion, um, now, again, I don't think I'm going to get anyone arguing, and I don't think it would be a huge task on the part of Undecember to have it removed. I think having it pulled from the list of possible modifiers on maps would not be something difficult. Um, it's something that I've talked about for a while, but now it's become more and more annoying as I play, and I really want... The, the people at Line Games uh, to, to take this to heart. I would love to see it removed. Um, now, I, I want to talk about something else in this same thing, uh, but I'm going to put it in a separate section. Okay. Now, this is completely unrelated to the, the, the thumbnail and the, the title of this video, but this is something that I really strongly feel is something that is a very antiquated thing and it doesn't add anything to the game other than annoyance much like reflect um this is something that has been around forever and i'm gonna talk about it and then we're, and and i just we'll see so the thing that i feel is really antiquated and should just be dropped from the game entirely is identifying it's something that had purpose way back and as time has gone on it has less and less purpose and doesn't add anything to the game okay now i'm old as fuck and i one of the first video games i ever played was a game called rogue um you will hear today as video game players you will hear about rogue likes quite a bit now the original rogue was a ascii art 
Assy, I don't know how to fucking say it, whatever it is, um, art game way back. It was like 1984 or something like that. Um, I probably was playing it when I was like five or six. So I'm like in 85 to 87 or something like that would have been the, when I started playing this game. And it had some really cool mechanics in it. And one of the big things um, was hit points were, were introduced with that game. Uh, or health points, depending on, because I got yelled at for calling them hit points. Uh, now, it had a cool mechanic in it, in that any piece of gear you found, you could pick up and equip to your character. With the downside of, once in a while, one of those items would be cursed. Uh, you didn't know it could be cursed unless you identified it, okay? Um, so you could put it on a piece of gear, and it would lower your strength, or it would make you... Uh, burn through food faster or it would make you blind and these were cool things it made the very few identify scrolls you could pick up really you had to really think about your moves okay it was it was turn-based game uh effectively and you had to really think about what you were doing and that got carried over into some other games but by the time even like diablo one rolled around identifying didn't do anything you'd you it was just a way to like get resources out of your character you had to spend some gold on identify things and then you pick stuff up and you could identify it or you could just chuck it but the point is it never became anything other than a, a gimmick at that point if you're not going to put something like that in the game why does it even exist having to pick up gear and then identify it or pick up maps and then identify them or pick up. And especially when it comes to legendary maps, because you have to identify them possibly multiple, multiple, multiple times uh, to see what the effects are. And it doesn't add anything to the game, especially when you can just run all the maps unidentified and occasionally you're going to run into a reflect map, which again, I already talked about is stupid. Uh, but there's no advantage that to identifying gear. There used to be, but that was removed. Now, with the new uh, dismantling system, there's no advantage to identifying something before you dismantle it. it it's all the same. Identifying doesn't add any depth to the game. Uh, because every piece of, so like every unique you pick up, oh, it's got different stats, but it could just drop with those different stats. Uh, identifying doesn't add anything. It adds annoyance. You got to find identify scrolls and then you got to keep identify scrolls and they don't do anything, uh, in particular. It's something that has been around again, since rogue, it was the first instance of identifying that I know of. And with that, it, it added depth to the game. Currently, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything uh, that isn't tedious to me. It's having to keep ID scrolls and then move things. And when you start a new season, you don't have ID scrolls to identify stuff. And then you got some unique that you can't use because you can't identify it. And it's something that needs to go. It's And I don't know why I decided to do this video altogether. Uh, but there are things slowly that because of the history of games, there are things that keep getting pulled from other games and they're like, well, we have, it's like uh, completely unrelated again, off topic. I just saw alien Romulus. I'm not going to give any way, any spoilers, but there are like rules to sequels. Okay. And you have to add this catchphrase or this moment or whatever this this image has to be carried over and that's happened with video games over the years where they're adding things to games that they're that don't really have purposes because they just go well that game did it and we're like that game so we got to do that thing um identify scrolls portal scrolls these are things that are that should not be necessary anymore there, there's absolutely no purpose um why we need to buy portal scrolls in this game at all why there's a 20 minute cooldown is is silly um 
and the, the ID scrolls are with that as well. There are other things, and I was going to do a much longer video and like hunt a bunch of them down, but those are the two main ones that, as a game player, I play in this game that I really, really hate. It drives me absolutely nuts, uh, and I, I really hope that they just would will, will really think about how things are done in games as they move forward. Um, because people start adding things without thinking about, well, why why is this even a thing? Um, anyways, I didn't intend this to be a particularly long video. I just wanted to put out some content to let you guys know that I'm, I'm not dead or something because I had somebody message me like, are you okay? We haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Uh, I've just, I hurt my back. I haven't been at the computer. So here's a short video. Um, I will be get back to doing Dr. Dummy videos in the near future. Again, I'm still, my back is still not great. Um, and as it heals, I'll be able to sit down longer. I'll be able to do videos again. But for now, this is it. I hope you're enjoying season five. I know I am. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.